Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PTCGO video and boys, girls, and Charizard lovers all around. Today, boys, we are going to be looking at a Mega Charizard deck from Evolutions, which this Mega Charizard, it's good. Now, I don't think it's the best Mega Charizard. Uh, there's two more. One of them is pretty playable from uh, Generations, and then there's another one from, you know, Flashfire, which did not get the reprint in Evolutions. That card is not as good as this Mega Charizard. This Mega Charizard, I think... Still has a decent amount of potential, but non-standard in the format known as Expanded. Now, I'm not a big fan of Expanded. The format is just filled with just such annoying stuff like lasers and Seismitoad and Trevenant and just... It, such, it's a headache of a format. If, if, if a headache was ever a format, yeah, th that would be Expanded. I don't like Expanded, that's why I don't really make many videos on it, because the format, I just don't enjoy playing. But we're, we're gonna have to, because this card just has so much potential with Expanded, just because there's so much to go with with Blacksmith, which kind of makes this card good. So let's take a look at Charizard. So Charizard, 220 HP. It's a Mega Evolution, which means you have to play uh, the Spirit Link, which thankfully we did get a Spirit Link within... Um, uh, what's this, what's this thing called? We did get a Spirit Link in Evolutions, which is really good, and it helps Charizard out a lot, because before, you didn't have any Charizard Spirit Links, I don't think, which kind of made Charizard pretty bad, but now that we do have it, Charizard has potential. Now, it has more potential in Expanded than Standard, because it, okay, look, the thing is, it needs five energies to do 300 damage, which, that's a lot of damage, that is a buttload of damage. That will knock out almost everything. Even a Waylord with a Fighting Fury Belt will fall to Crimson Dive. However, it does 50 damage to itself, which isn't a big deal because you're already going to be storming through everything. The thing is, is how are you going to play this? Well, how are you going to power five energies? That's a lot of energies. That's five turns to build up. Well, there's a card called Blacksmith. Blacksmith allows you to attach two fire energy from your discard pile to one of your fire Pokemon. This card is amazing because it allows you to put fire energies right away onto your Charizard so you can use Crimson Dive almost immediately, and that is very, very effective and powerful. Now, it puts two on. Right? That You still need more energy, so you can manually attach, you can use Mega Turbo, and you can use Double Colorless. This Pokemon needs two fires and three colorless energies, which means you can use DCE on this Pokemon to make Crimson Dive actually power up quicker, so we're going to be playing four DCEs. For that reason, it the Blacksmith DC Mega Turbo, we can power this thing up literally in one turn and immediately do 300 damage in one turn. That is insane. 300 damage in one turn. That is nuts. And you can only really do that in Expanded. You can't do that in Standard because Blacksmith is not in Standard, unfortunately. But it still works really nicely, and Crimson Dive can work really well with the Fire types. And there's also a lot of good Fire types you can use with this. Now, all we're going to be running is this Mega Charizard. We're not going to be running the other one. Uh, this is just going to be a pure Mega Charizard Y deck from Evolution, so we aren't going to be playing any other Mega Charizards. We're not going to be playing the other two, so just if you're wondering. So we're going to be playing the two normal Charizards, and I went with two Flashfire ones, because if you ever get the chance to, you can use Stoke, and it will allow you to flip a coin of heads through your deck for up to three basic energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This can work nicely because you can you know, build it up even quicker so you can use that Crimson Dive a little easier. Then we also play this one, just because Combustion Blast is 150, that can do a lot of damage and possibly knock out some things to win the game. Now we're going to be playing two other non-EX Pokemon. The first one is Entei. Entei is a really good late game attacker, and it's also a really good non-EX attacker that only gives it one prize. He tackled his 130 damage, and it's very easy to power up with Blacksmith and DCE, so we're going to be playing one Entei in the deck. We don't need any more. I mean, you could always run more if you wanted to, but really without the Muscle Band combo you usually see, I don't think we need any more. We also play two normal Volcanion. We're not going to be playing Volcanion EX. There's no point. Like, what's the point of making Charizard do 230 damage? That's just overkill. But we are going to be playing Baby Volcanion for Power Heater, which, again, this is going to be another way we can slowly build up Mega Charizard if we ever need to, and if we ever need it late game to kind of build up our Mega Charizard. And I think it'll be good to get energies back in play also, so we are going to be playing two Volcanions. It's another ideal starter other than Charizard. Again, this is more of a Charizard speed deck to build up Charizard really quickly and go for the knockout. So, I mean, you can do with what you want. We obviously play two Shamans and one Hoopa. Hoopa's mandatory since we do play a lot of EXs. And Shaman, you already know why it's in there. Going into the other stuff, there's a lot of important items. First one is Battle Compressor. We need Battle Compressor because it allows us to search your deck for up to three cards and discard them. This is very, very important because it will allow us to get those energies and discard. Same with Computer Search. 
Um, well, not computer. Computer search doesn't do what battle compressor does, but we do need computer search to grab what we need. Battle compressor works nicely also. Just getting those cards in the discard pile. We need our fire energies in there and our blacksmith. So we can be a seeker and use blacksmith to actually build it up. And we aren't relying on stuff like Ultra Ball. Second more. Two max elixir. This is kind of just a card I'm running. We're only playing two. I don't think we need more. It's another way to put energies on our Charizard quickly. It only works for basics, but it gets so powered up fairly quickly. And uh, we also got three Mega Turbos. Again, this is another way to power up Charizard quickly. Four Ultra Balls. You already know why Ultra Balls are there. Same with Via Seeker. Via Seeker is very important in this deck with Blacksmith. We are playing a total of three Blacksmith. This is a speedier deck, so we will need Blacksmith to get the energies on Charizard ASAP. One Colrus, Colrus, Great Draw Sport. One Lysander. You already know why Lysander's there. Char Lysander can work nicely, too, because, again, you're doing 300 damage to anything. So you can technically knock out anything you want on the bench. So Y Sander could be good. Maybe another one could be nice. Two ends. That's our draw support. Same thing with four Sycamores. We're going to be playing one Center Lady. This is important because it allows us to heal 60. And since Crimson Dive makes us do 50 damage to ourselves. And we could play Protection Cube. But we'd have to play stuff like Weavile or Tool Retriever. We don't need to do that. So Center Lady will allow us to heal off that damage we're going to be doing to ourselves. And we got three Charizard Spare Links, so obviously we're going to need this for the Charizard. One Float Stone. Float Stone can just be really important to give something for your tree. It can always save your butt. Four DCEs and ten Fire Energies are the total amount of energies we're going to be running. So there are some other things you can run, which I'm probably going to have that pop on screen a little earlier. So uh, that'll come up. Maybe other things like Trainer's Mail, an extra Lysander, an extra Center Lady. There are some interesting things you can play. But anyways, let's hop into a match with... Well, not ma one match, but a couple of matches with our Mega Charizard deck. Seed in action and see if we can destroy anyone with 300 damage that's a lot of damage okay guys here we go with our a game well might be the game with the charizard deck we will see we lose the coin flip unfortunately and uh yeah we'll see how it goes here in expanded uh playing against an all psychic deck though so i'm actually happy we're not playing against some other deck because telling you man this game all right so we'll start with volcanian i guess and we'll bench the charizard uh yeah i think we'll do that instead i mean we could have started with charizard but We'll start with Volcanion, and then maybe we can work our way to a Charizard, and we'll see what we're even playing against. Like, I have no idea what we are up against, so. Looks like a Trevenant Break deck, maybe? Which, I, well, actually, it's not a Trevenant Break deck. It looks like a Trevenant Gengar deck. It's a weird expanded deck to play against, but, uh, we'll see. I know Trevenant Break's been doing very well recently. Like, I think it, like, literally won a couple of tournaments, which is surprising considering Dark has a very good, you know, thing going on in Expanded. Uh, I think I'm only going to draw one card. Yeah, I didn't want to draw into something that I didn't want, so... Yeah, we'll take that route. Like, I didn't want to draw a card that I didn't need. Now, my opponent starts with a Zubat, but it's not the free flight one, which is nice. And I don't think he'll be able to get a turn one item lock on me, which is also pretty nice, because that would hurt. Uh, ooh, but he does play Wally, but that won't matter. I mean, he can retreat and item lock me. Uh, nope. Okay, nice, nice. I'm glad he did not get that item lock off. That would have been very annoying. So, okay, I'm not going to play down the Fire Energy. I'm going to use that for Discard Bait. So, we'll play Hoopa, and I guess we'll just grab a Charizard and a... Yeah, I think just a Charizard. We don't really need anything else. Maybe I wasted a Hoopa, but you know what? We're discarding our hand anyways. Might as well play it down. So, all right, let's go with the Professor Sycamore here. And what are we going to get? Oh, we didn't get an energy. Oh, no, we can actually Shaman. Never mind. I was like, oh, we didn't get an energy off of that. But we can play Shaman. We'll play the Max Elixir. We need to lose our energies, our, our items, because he's playing Item Lock. So we'll get rid of Mega Turbo and Charizard. And we will grab Shaman. And, okay, we'll play the Volcanion down. And we'll play the Shaman down. And we'll set up for four cards. Hopefully we can get a Fire Energy so that we can start um, using that Fire in the discard for... Good use. All right, nice. We do. We do get a float stone, which is also good. Um, I mean, they're gonna put on Volcanion or Hoopa. I don't know. All right, let's just play the Via Seeker just so we can get rid of the item. Because again, items are not really gonna be our favor here. I'm actually, I'm gonna put the float stone on the Hoopa. I think that's more important just because if that does get Lysandered, um, Trevenant Break could start doing some things. So you know what? We'll go there. Um, so I think that was a better. I don't know. Maybe I should have. Um, put the Floatstone on the Volcanion for when I can get a Charizard in play, but whatever. My point of Evo Sodas into Golbat. Luckily, Golbat's ability won't actually work. Pardon me, sorry, I got some in my throat. Um, so we AZs, so that was a weird play. Uh, Alright, now he passes his turn, so he can't really do anything else, which is nice to see. So I'm just going to play a DCE on, and I guess I'll just Power Heater. And then next turn... 
what I'll do is I'll put a fire energy on Volcano. And pardon me, I have something in my throat. It's hard to talk. <coughs> pardon me. Oh my god. Apologies. My opponent is not doing anything though, which is really nice. Um, he must not have a good hand. We do need five energies, but we can retreat and knock him out, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll play Chorus just because I don't want to play N, because I don't think he has a good hand. What are we gonna get? Uh, El Max Elixir. Okay, we can't play that actually. I just realized. All right, we'll retreat Volcanian. We'll bring up Charizard. We'll knock him out, and then next turn we can easily just knock out. We can just Ultra Ball for Charizard. Fire Energy. Boom. He's dead. We'll take a prize. What is it gonna be? Battle Compressor. That's fine. We got Blacksmith in our hand, so we'll go with that route. My opponent does bring up the Golbat. Crobat won't even save him because we're still going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, but he does actually play teammates. And I'm curious if he plays Mewtwo EX or not. Um, I don't know if he does. Now, thankfully, that teammates won't let him get another uh, thing into place. Uh, but he plays down a Ghastly, and he does play down Crobat, but that doesn't really matter. We're still one-shotting him. Uh, yeah, he does play down the Ghastly. Uh, if I get a VS Seeker, I'll lie center that Ghastly out because Gengar could in fact um knock me out and that would actually be pretty bad nice we get it nice okay okay we'll start with the max elixir uh nope okay all right so we'll ultra ball away a fire energy and uh we'll get rid of fire energy and blacksmith we'll get the mega charizard boom there he is we'll grab that big boy all right and we'll get him into play and we'll go with a Battle Compressor. And we'll get rid of Lysander. Please be in the deck. Okay, good. Thank God. We'll get rid of Lysander and Center Lady and a Fire Energy. And then what we'll do is we will attach the Fire Energy to Charizard. Now, again, that teammate easily could have just grabbed him the Gengar play for next turn, which would knock me out. And we don't want that, so we're going to Lysander out as Ghastly. A little extreme to do 300 damage to a little Ghastly, but we got to do it in order to take... The prize so we are gonna take 50 damage but you know what that's fine all right and we get a via seeker uh, did i get rid of the center lady i did i might actually via seeker for center lady um i might do that because charizard will get knocked out just from enough crimson dives to itself my opponent plays shauna so i don't know if he had the gengar or not but if he did i'm glad i lost center that ghastly and took out the immediate threat because again if he got the gengar in play and was able to knock me out nope yep but he does concede the game and, uh, yeah, we managed to win, and, yeah, uh, and we get, the, oh, come on, out of everything we get, we get the thing we already had, come on, alright, we'll see you guys in another game, oh, never mind, I got 25 coins, okay, alright, see you guys in another game. Alright guys, here we go with a second game with our Mega Charizard deck, we win the coin flip, which is good, we might get a turn two Charizard, maybe, we'll see, alright, so what is my opponent going to be playing, though, that's the question, alright, a fighting deck, hmm. Is it going to be Zygarde? Um, if he plays Carbink, I do have the Entei, plus I have the uh, Volcanians, but it could be a problem. That'd be funny. A Vul imagine a Volcanian X Charizard deck. Um, oh, alright. Now, our hand is actually not that bad. We can put the DCE on. We can Sycamore 2 Fires way to set up for Blacksmith, so I'm actually kind of content with his hand. I just hope he doesn't play, like, Carbink or something. I guess we'll find out. And, uh, he starts with Carbink. Of course he does. Alright. Well, we're gonna have to kind of deal with that. We don't play Hex Maniac, I don't think, so. We'll Ultra Ball away two Fire Energies. And we'll grab... Okay, Hoopa is priced, I think. Is it? Yeah. Okay. We'll grab... Pardon me. Uh, we'll grab Entei. Because Entei is gonna be the way we're gonna deal with the Carbink. So, whoops, didn't mean to bring that up. We'll grab Entei. Um... Okay. I, should I put a DC on Entei or Charizard? You know what, we'll put on Charizard. I mean, we could still use the Lysander to manipulate and get around his thing, so you will go there. Alright, nice. We do have a nice hand, so we'll max Elixir. Hopefully we get a Fire Energy onto the Entei. Okay, we do. Nice. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to bring that up. Next turn, I guess we can attack with Entei, so it's fine. We'll put the Charizard X Spear Link on. and Well, not Charizard X. I don't even know why I said Charizard X. And we'll pass the turn. Next turn, we will be able to attack with Entei and knock out his Carbink uh, at the cost of a DCE, but that's fine. Hey, and if he does do some dumb play with uh, whatever that card's called, uh, Enhanced Hammer, I'm going to be annoyed if he does that. Uh, we can always computer search for... Actually, no, we don't run Switch. And we already played Float. We already played the Tool on, so I guess Rip. All right, but he's just going to do that and pass. Uh, there's Mega Turbo. We'll retreat Charizard 
into Entei. We'll put a fire energy on Entei. We'll blacksmith. And yet yeah, we'll put the two fires from our discard into our Entei. And we'll just not came out with the heat tackle attack. So boom, smack him in the face. Whop, you're dead. 110, and oh, we do take damage, but it's fine. We can just start attacking with Entei, I guess, and build up a Charizard on the bench. So let's take our prize. What's it going to be? A Shaman? That's that's actually pretty good, actually. All right, nice. So we don't have to do computer search for a supporter, it looks like. And that is always good. So my opponent brings up Cubone. Marowak can't really save him. Now, I might want to keep the Entei alive just in case he plays another card bank. I don't know what he's going to get, though, with the Karina. I don't know if he plays Zygarde or Lucario or Lander CX or whatever. So we got a little bit of a problem there, but we'll see what he is going to be playing. I kind of miss all these cards like Blacksmith and uh, Karina, stuff like that, but unfortunately they rotated. And you gotta play Expanded, and Expanded is not my favorite format. I'm not really too fond of Expanded. I'm not gonna lie, it's not really my favorite format. But he does grab Marowak, he does grab Focus Sash, which is a smart play because he needs that. And obviously, we can't knock him out now with Heat Tackle because of the Focus Sash. Now, I might... Okay, he's going to do Sharpshooting. I guess he'll attack Entei. Yeah, um, I'll just do Flame Screen, I guess. Okay, we'll play the Max Elixir. And no energy. All right, that's just, uh, that sucks. All right, we'll put a Fire Energy onto Charizard. We'll play Shaman down. We'll set up for four. And yeah, we'll probably just go with a Flame Screen just to prevent... And well, actually, no. He's already... He's doing 80... How much HP do I have left? 50. 30, 50. Yeah, I'm going to get knocked out anyways, so we're just going to go all in with Heat Tackle then. Alright, we can do Ultra Ball. We can get rid of Fire Energy and Ultra Ball. And we will grab... Alright, Shaman's Prize, so we'll just grab Mega Charizard. I mean, our hand is good enough to power one up anyway, so it's fine. So we'll put down the Mega Charizard. And how many fires do I have my discard? I should have one. All right, one. So we'll hold off on playing it. And let's just go with Heat Tackle. We'll have to go all in here because, again, we're not... And uh, he would knock me out. Even if I did do Flame Screen, 30 less damage is nice, but he's already going to be doing 80 damage with the Marowak, so it's fine. So he does bring up Marowak. And he does do Center Lady, which doesn't matter because it won't even allow a Focus Sash to even work. Plus, we're knocking him out. But he does go with Sharpshooting for 50 knocking me out now here's where we can win the game and we can kind of show you how easy it is to power up mega charizard and expand it i mean it's actually insane how easy it is to charge this thing up so ooh, okay we can mega turbo okay um we'll battle we'll computer search oh we're not gonna be able to attack are we i mean we could still Blacksmith and Mega Turbo. Hmm. Alright, we're going to have to get rid of these two. Um, for VS Seeker. Oh, that was a bit rough, actually. I just realized. Uh, I, or we could just grab Sycamore. We'll grab Sycamore. Damn it. Oh, I forgot. Battle. If I had Shaman in the deck, it would have been so much easier. Let's Mega Turbo. We can go with Sycamore. We need to get a new hand anyways, so let's see. Um... Oh, no, we got the knockout. We can just do this. We can Spirit Link. We can Mega Evolve. And boom, we can Mega Turbo. Yeah, we got the knockout. Nice. All right, so I planned that right. I thought I wouldn't because I thought Blacksmith was going to help me, but I guess not. So anyways, let's go with Crimson Dive for 300 damage. Kaboom, you're dead, Marowak. Overkill, but you know what? He's still getting knocked out. We can take a prize, and we win the game, and I guess we'll do another game. Let Hold on, what are we going to get out of this? Um... Okay, 25 more coins. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another game with the deck. Alright, here we go guys with our third, possibly last game with our deck. We'll see though, we do win the coin flip, which is always good. I think we're playing against another Charizard deck. I mean, he does have the Fire and Dark deck box, so he might be playing the other Charizard from... Uh, what's that set called again? I, f what, I forgot the name of the neck, the other set. But we have a good hand, so things are looking nice here. So we'll hopefully expand with his hand, and we can get things rolling very soon. So... Thing is, we're going to need to take a knockout first on him. So he starts with a Victini, which is interesting. So we are going to have to lose a Charizard, unfortunately. But in the meantime, we can Ultra Ball away two Fire Energies. And we can get ourselves a second Charizard. Why not? We'll grab another Charizard. We can Max Elixir onto it, I guess. So we can play him down. We can do Max Elixir. No Energies. That is a bit of a bummer. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to lose a Mega Charizard, which I don't really like doing, but you know what? It's all for the good cause. 
and we can play down Volcanion. We will put a Fire Energy on Charizard. I mean, we can knock him out with Fire Blast next turn, possibly. So let's play Shaman. Set up for two. Help us out a little bit. And I'm hoping for a Charizard Spirit Link. No. Um, but yeah, we can knock out this Victini next turn with Fire Blast. So that's a good thing. And then we will be able to get two prizes. Now, if he does get the Charizard in play, we will need to respond quickly. So again, we're going to be one-shotting him fairly easily. I mean, 300 damage. You can't really hide from that. Like, there's really nothing in the game. Even Whale over the Fighting Fury Belt can't even live at 300 damage Crimson Dive. Maybe if it had, like, Aurorus in play, then maybe. But you know what? It's all good. So he puts some Muscle Band on. If he doesn't play another Pokemon down, we're going to win the game. And then I won't even have to use this gameplay. But he does Laser Me. Please don't get heads. If he gets heads, this will be bad. If he gets heads... Oh my god, I hate lasers so much. And I don't wake up. Wait, go figure. Oh my, okay, well, we'll play the Entei. Sadly, we won't be able to win the game. Um, we'll play the Entei down. We'll just go with Sycamore, why not? I mean, we got Via Seeker for Blacksmith, plus we have other Blacksmiths in the deck, so. We'll go with the Sycamore, and, alright. What we can do is... We can put the Spirit Link on. Uh, he's not knocking me out, he's only doing 120 damage max with Victini. So, we'll get the Mega Evolution down right away. And we'll pass the turn. Next turn... Ooh, I don't know if next turn we'll be able to attack. That's the thing. We can always just retreat into Entei and grab Blacksmith and win the game. So, there's that. We can keep the Charizard in play for later. My opponent discards a ton of cards there. We see Trick Coin and everything getting discarded. He plays an Evil Tall? What the heck is this? Is he playing some weird Victini Evil Tall toolbox? He passes his turn. And, ooh, Blacksmith. Okay, that's actually perfect. We can computer search away you two. And we can grab ourselves a fire energy. Now, Evil Tall is looking scary, which is a problem. Evil Tall can potentially knock me out. No, why did I grab the energy? Oh, what am I doing? Wow, that was a misplay. And a half. I, I meant to grab a... Never mind. Whatever, we'll just retreat and knock him out with Entei. Just because Entei can at least take a hit. And then we can just attack with Volcanion. I was going to go for a knockout, but I'm, I'm an idiot. I did the math wrong. But whatever, we'll go with Heat Tackle. He will be able to knock me out next turn. Then we can go with a Steam Artillery and build up my things on the bench. So we'll take two prizes. Hopefully they're good things. DCE, that's what I like to see. And Battle Compressor, that's also pretty good to thin out the deck a little bit. Unfortunately, I made a bit of a misplay there with the Computer Search. I'm not going to lie, but in, it actually kind of helps us because we can do a Power Heater next turn. And he did get the Dark Energy, so he would have been able to knock out Charizard anyway, I think. I don't know what we're playing against, though. Like, I, I thought this was going to be another Mega Charizard deck because he's got the Fire and the Dark Energy. Plus, you know, he maybe could have used Victini for Turbo Energized, but I guess not. He does go with Evil Ball. Now, there's no sense in bringing up the Charizard. Even, I mean, if we topped like a Blacksmith, we'd win the game, but there's no point risking it. Even with the one retreat cost. Yeah, we didn't top like what we needed, so yeah, there's really no point doing that. So we'll go with you, we'll Battle Compressor away some stuff we don't need. We can get rid of Hoopa. Actually, no, we'll need him for Shaman. He's important. We'll get rid of... Um... Okay, there's really nothing to get rid of. Okay, there's two VS Seekers. I mean, okay, we can get rid of a Max Elixir. We can get rid of one Battle Compressor, we won't need that. And yeah, I think we'll... Just discard those two. And we'll go with a Power Heater for 20. And now, if we get an Energy Top Deck and he knocks us out somehow, we can win the game. Actually, no, we can't, never mind. But we can go with another Power Heater next turn, and then we can win the game. Unless he plays a Pokemon down. Now, we do have the Center Lady with us, so like when we do knock out Evil Tall, we should be good to respond with the Center Lady Heal, so that we can't walk into a knockout again. So hopefully that's what happens. Uh, no, but he does do Lysander. Oh, no. And he brings up the Charizard. Now, the good thing is, is we get, like, a Blacksmith top deck. We can knock him out with the Combustion Blast Charizard because he's already got a lot of damage on him. So, let's see. What will we top deck? And it's a Colrus. That's fine by me. Um, Actually, we get a Mega Turbo we win. So, I'll put the DCE on. We'll go for it. We'll see if we can get a Mega Turbo to win the game. So, let's go with our Colrus. And no, okay, but we do get the Charizard Spirit Link. Now, we will retreat Charizard into Volcanion. 
We can still win the game with Combustion Blast, so I'm not going to bother Mega Evolving just yet. So we'll go with the Power Heater for 20. And we'll put a Fire Energy on both Charizards. And even if he does knock me out or does another Lysander play, we will knock him out with either Charizard and possibly win the game. So things are looking good. Plus we have the Charizard in our hand, so things are also looking good. But he does do Skyla. I wonder what he's going to grab. Maybe a Supporter for next turn. Maybe Lysander. I don't even know anymore. Now, I don't know if Evil Tulsa knocked me out. I'm too lazy to do the math. Nobody grabs an Enhanced Hammer, which is fine. I mean, you still knock him out with the other Charizard, so it's not the end of the world that he grabbed Enhanced Hammer. He kind of wasted that anyways. Like, it's no big deal losing it. Um, losing the DCE quite yet, so I'm not really too upset about that. Now, is he knocking me out? I think it is. I think it... Nope. Actually, I'm living, which is really, really nice. Okay, sweet. So we're going to live. There's a Mega Turbo... A little too late, though, um, but we can do the power heater for 20, and we can continue to just put energies on both. Never mind. I should have put on the Mega Charizard. Ugh, what am I doing? Whatever. You know what? It's fine. We have another Charizard in our hand anyways, but he does do Center Lady, but you know what? We can still win the turn by doing the Mega Evolution, and then the DCE, and then the Mega Charizard 300. We win the game. Perfect. Nice. Quick game. Um, I don't know if I'll end the video off here, though. That's the thing. Alright, I mean, we could win the game with either or, so we'll just go with the Charizard here. And I think I'll end the video off. Games were a little short. You, you'll probably get that, though, with this deck, just because, like, the, the deck does kind of, like, speed through things. So we'll get the Mega Evolution. We'll just do this. Not even a bother the slow roll. Save my opponent the pain. And boom, 300 damage, Crimson Dive. Absolutely wreck the evil tall and whatever the heck my opponent was playing. And we can take our two prizes. We do find the Energy and the Via Seeker. What are we going to get? And we get the same mystery box we already got. And my, I was going to look at my opponent's deck. I was curious to see what he's playing. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end the video off here, guys. I know some of the games were a little shorter, but you'll get that with this deck. But, plus, I don't even like Expanded. I, I despise I, like, I despise this format. I hate this format because you, you do play nothing against, like, Seismitoad and Item Lock, Laser decks. It's just such a pain to play against. I really am not a big fan of this format. But, anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe for more PCO videos. We're getting close to 1,000 subscribers. I want to see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers by either Christmas or January 1st. Can we do that? I think we can. I mean, we're, our channel's growing pretty fast, so if we can hit 1K subs before Christmas or January 1st, that would be great. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on another PCO video. Peace out.